Okay, team, just like many videos I shoot, this might be a little random, but I do have an idea in the head, so we're going to roll with it. All right. Many times in life, what you want to do in sports, your career, just anything you want to do. You're not going to be the sharpest tool in the shed. You're not going to be the tallest, the biggest, the fastest, whatever you need for that sport, whatever you need for that career. But listen, if you have some grit and you have some drive and you have some, I ain't listening to the boneheads telling me that I can't do something, you will end up, see, there's this, there's this level, this high foundation that, you know, the genetically gifted and the ones that, you know, the Ivy Leaguers and they, they, they you know, it's where, where they are. You end up freaking, you know what grit will do? Here's that foundation. Right, you just stand right on top of it. You're building the foundation on top of theirs. You're rising above them. James Harrison was the, was, you know, there's always a little spark that, that has, that where the message comes to my brain. And it was James Harrison this time. James Harrison grew up outside of Cleveland, Ohio. Mom didn't want him to play football, but he and his buddy talked his mom into it. And, uh, and so mom and dad said, yeah, James, you can play. He went on to be a pretty damn good high school football player. Played uh, uh, running back, linebacker. He's a little bit of a troublemaker. Grades were not very good. So he ended up, uh, he went, went to Kent State and walked on to the football program. He got, you know, he got in some trouble in high school. I did too. I think we all did a little bit. Not all of us, but some of us. Anyway, walks on. Great career at Kent. Had, had to earn, earn, earn the spot on the team. Doesn't get drafted in the NFL. Gets cut four times. Finally makes the Pittsburgh Steelers team. Go, I'm going to do a quick summary. Goes on to five Pro Bowls and wins two Super Bowls. I think James is 42, 42 years old now. But And there's some funny videos on James. Man, he's a character. There's this video out there you'll see kicked around. Anyway, he, he's a big old dude. He's only six foot. And that's what they list him at, so, which means he's probably five foot 11 and a half. So, and, and let me back up here. So why... Here's what happens in the NFL, and it's just like when somebody looks at your resume. In the NFL, your resume, half your resume is that height and weight and speed and, and stuff. You know, the other half is the character and whatnot. But it's just like your resume when you go sit down for an interview. It's like, you know, in football, as a line, let's take a linebacker. If you're 6'3", 6'4", 250, and run a 4'5", run a 4'6", Oh, you're from Harvard when you're interviewing for that corporate job or law, become a lawyer, you know, they'll get, get on the law firm. That's like, that's, that's, those are called measurables. You can kind of compare the two. Well, James is six foot, which means he's probably five foot 11 and change. So James didn't have the, you know, his football resume didn't say, bam, whatever, six three, six four, two fifty, 250, and a 4'5". So, guess what? No draft for you, James. And he had to work his ass off. And so the rose is different for some of us sometimes. It's just different, man. Let me... I, I, I was in the Navy. I was a helicopter mechanic. Aviation structural mechanic. There is very little business education this boy's mind at all very little leadership education but whatever i shouldn't say that military taught me a lot about leadership but long story short i went on after the military and managed in the corporate world for 16 years okay i had to freaking work hard to get in that situation i had to go and improve myself i was working at naval air station north island as a civilian Naval Air Station Alameda while I was still in the military and the Naval Air Station North Island as a civilian and I worked my freaking butt off. Harder than I, I mean, I was out there to show, I had people mad at me because I was working too hard. You, Some of us been there before, like, he's working too hard making us look bad. I it, I was like, dude, I, I pulled my James Harrison. I was gonna make a freaking team. When I got on the team, 
my mom and dad always told me, <sighs> wasn't thinking about this when I started shooting the message, but this might be the most important part of the message. I don't care if you're stocking shelves at the 7-Eleven and you don't even know how to be a checker. You don't even know how to freaking work the cash register yet. <sighs> Go to work every single day. Like you may be managing a place one day. Go to work every single day. You're going to show, you're going to show everybody there. You might be able to match my work ethic, but there is nobody on the planet that can beat my work ethic. That's all I've ever done. If you do that, you don't have to, you know, you don't have to be 6'4". You don't have to graduate freaking Harvard. You can be an old guy that freaking was a brown shirt on helicopter carriers. Freaking tying helicopters down with TD-1 Alpha tie-down chains. Working on helicopters. Our motto was, if she's leaking, we're good to go, boys and girls. Because when she stops leaking, we're in trouble. That means the reservoirs were, were empty. I was, I was an aviation instructional mechanic on the H-53 Echo, the biggest helicopter in the world. Good memories. Much love, shout out to all the military folks out there, all the great leaders, the chiefs, the officers, the petty officers that, that, that coached this boy up, taught me how to be a, a better man, better leader. Anyway, that's the message today. Grit, determination, believe in yourself. Do not let your feet hit the floor in the morning until you're ready to dominate the day. Whatever you're doing, work hard to just do a good job every single day. Don't let anybody outdo you. It's okay if somebody's standing right here beside you working with you. Don't let them. Be a little competitive. Don't let them outwork you. I'm not going to. Oh, that's the message. Shout out to James Harrison. He made it. It wasn't an easy ride. It wasn't an easy process. But that's it. I love y'all. I was all over the place. Yancey's ADD brain. Let me see if I can show you something pretty. I gotta show you something pretty. Wrap this up. We got some gladiolas blooming this morning. Look at these buttes. Look at those. Oh. Oh, it's beautiful. The yellow gladiolas. All right, my friends. I love y'all. Thank you for tuning in. Be good.